working on shop expansion projects today, getting my fence put up to help keep the peace at the house. Uh, so that way you don't see all my hoard of junk. And I'm sure somebody right now's head is absolutely exploding saying, oh my God, that's not how you put fence panels up. But So I set all the dog ear panels on here to keep them perfectly straight. Piece of throwaway coal wood I got for a dollar and I think 42 cents. Three pieces of cutoff. I had to put an extra cutoff there because this end wall was short. And it makes it very nice, easy to put up template where I can just grab boards, slap them up, and start nailing them without having to measure anything or hope that it's level. It's a little bit off the ground, but once we get over to that tree, I'm going to end up probably having to cut the bombs off of these. But it's level across the front, level across here, and it's going to continue to be level. And then it's going to be level when I put my next section in when the ground is not as cold. these shop projects done let me tell you that was something to get up there solo but it's a good thing i got these big old uh aviation stands that i actually use for pontoon boats just think they're fantastic for pontoon boats um but yeah i got it up got it leveled across and you put a ledger board across the bottom um put some paper on it put some boards on it Probably actually don't need to put paper on this one because it's outside. I'm not gonna put paper on it. I'm just gonna put boards across it and then go pick up my roofing material and be done with it. And then on to the next step, which is to put a little stand for a pump that I use and build a fill tube. So, like I said, I'm gonna skip putting paper on here because there's really no need. It's gonna be all open air. Um, so I was looking at my boards here, and I was like, oh, I'll just put them in about the butt. Well, it's not going to work because they're so close to 16 foot. I only have a little bit hanging off on that end, and I got nothing hanging off of this end, which this sheet hanging, going that way, hanging off the end, the ribs will support it, and it'll be rigid. But going that way, it'll droop if I don't have any support. So instead of having it about the butt like this, I'm going to have to do an 8-footer in the middle. And then cut and cut. And then if I had to get more, we'll see how far the cuts get on the, on the end piece. It's my house. It's not the way I would do it at somebody else's. It's just slap a whole bunch of cuts along the end. But I'm going to do it here and see how far it gets me. Or at least set them up and then nail it. And um, not set up and nail it. Just set it up and see what it looks like. And then if it looks decent enough nail it if i need to get more then i'll just get more they're not very expensive i'm just trying to save trips down to home depot and back so we're going to get this slid over marked get the square up here get the tape the saw i forgot to get more nails before i came up here well we'll see how far i get 